I don't know, was there anything else to do here? I would kind of like some fruit at this point, actually. I'm running kind of low on the health. Oh well. Um, I, I, fruit will come if you eat, find it, I suppose. I don't know. Um, man, something needs to happen soon because I'm running out of things to say. Well, okay, <laughs> okay. I, what, what, I, so how is how am I liking the game so far? Is I guess one thing uh, sort of worth mentioning. Um, it's it looks it still looks kind of promising. I'm not having. It's it's a fun kind of a fun kind of a cute little game. I wouldn't say I'm like having a fantastic time with it just yet. It's it's like I I'm not like haven't been like really grabbed by this game like the way I was like say at the beginning of La Mulana or anything like that. This just you know seems like kind of a just a fun cute little uh, 90s Metroidvania platformer game with some RPG elements. To be honest, this is kind of exactly what I was expecting from this game. It's a bit easy. Oh, oh, you know what I could talk about actually is I, I actually have played a fair bit of the sequel to this game, uh, Tomba 2. Uh, yeah, there's a there's a sequel to this game, Tomba 2. It's uh, actually has full 3D graphics as opposed to the sort of 2D pre-rendered sprites in this one. But yeah, I actually did rent Tomba 2 a couple times back in the day, and I'm I'm, I'm a bit more familiar with that one than uh, this game. Um, I thought about doing Tomba 2 instead of this, but I thought you know. I can do to I can always do Tomba 2 after this, and if I'm gonna do both potentially, might as well check out the first one first. Um, so okay, Stormy Mountain. Is that where we were going? I think I wanted to go to Phoenix Mountain. Are there two mountains? Okay, laugh and cry. Oh, I think I think I know about some mushrooms that can help you with that, dude. <laughs> Not sure how to express emotions. That <laughs> that is uh. I, I, I just got finished watching uh, the latest episode of a particular show that I watch right before I started recording this. And can I jump into the background here? I can indeed, and uh, I don't probably don't really need to go into that. I don't really know why I felt the need to mention it. I know that a lot of people out there aren't really into that kind of thing. I was, I was just... that bit reminded me of the most recent episode because... That was a thing with a character on the most recent episode. Um, so yeah. Um, okay, let's kill these things if we can. Can I even jump on them? It's like I kind of want to... Okay, what's the... does a sign tell me how to... There are monsters living in the forest. Well, there are... that, sh that ship has sailed at this already, I'm afraid. So okay, let's... Okay. Okay, but he dodged out of the way. Maybe... So I'm thinking maybe throw them into each other. Oh man, this is this is some slippery glass or bleh, slippery grass. That is that that's not even that much of a slope, really. And yet he's just like sliding right down that. Okay, so okay, that'll just bump him around. Oh shit! Oh okay, I can grab onto the sides, and that just kind of makes them kind of embarrassed, like I guess. Okay, I think I get what's going on with this now. Or assuming that even did anything. Okay, so one... So I guess just kind of shame them into closing their eyes by just kind of grabbing on and giving them a little... Yeah, just a nice little hug to sort of embarrass them into closing their eye and then, and then yeah, throw them into them and presumably that did damage of some sort. Okay, three hits, and then I think I'm going to give up on this. Okay, there it is. Three hits. That's kind of the ma been the magic number for this defeating enemies in platform games. Okay, that is a powder. So, I need to sprinkle that, I guess, on like either a red or blue flower or something. Okay, can I go through this door? I cannot. Why is that door even there, then? It's so weird. It's a weird game, guys. I don't know if I've mentioned that yet. But, uh... Yeah, like, so I'm enjoying this game so far. I'm not, it's, it, I'm not having a fantastic time with it. it. It's a bit easy for my liking, I would say. I kind of like, would kind of like a bit more of a challenge, but it's, uh, you know, it's still early in the game. So that kind of thing could still come up later in the game. And that's that's what made me think of the sequel, because uh, Tomba 2 was actually uh, a fair bit more challenging, I think, than this game has been so far. Oh, no, I guess I was talking about the graphics in Tomba 2. Speaking of the graphics, um, I'm not really a huge fan of... Uh, okay, the graphics in this game are pretty 
okay for the time, I think. Like, it's every... I think the animation makes, makes up for it. All, all of the different uh, characters and monsters and all, everything all have a bunch of different poses and all that. It just adds a lot of character to the game. I, I, I've gone over that already in the last uh, couple videos. Looks like that can't go through that door. Well, I think this is actually the place... I think this is where I started the game. That was like the mansion, like right at the start of the game, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, considering that I moved to the left. Anyways, um, I'm not really a huge fan of the whole, like, uh, 2D pre-rendered graphic style that you see in this game and a lot of other PS1 games. To be honest, I think that this style kind of looks not as good as even a lot of, like, Super Nintendo games. It's like, uh, I don't know, it's just like... Like, the spriting in those older 16-bit games tended to be a lot more detailed... I think, and a lot more, uh, just sort of a lot more vibrant and colorful and detail, the detail especially is the one thing that I really miss a lot from uh, the old 16-bit sprite based games, whereas yeah, the game, games like this with the pre-rendered sprites, uh, yeah, they ten tend to have a lot less detail in them, which is a bit of a shame, and it, yeah, it ends up, everything looks, just end up looking kind of, I don't know how to describe it, just kind of... Yeah, kind of muddy and less detailed, a bit, uh, just a bit kind of smoother all over the place. Like, like this roof here, for example, it's just like a flat surface, single color with like some lighting applied to it. Whereas, uh, compare that to like say a rooftop in pretty much any given, like decently, decent looking 16-bit games. And yeah, you, you you can see that as just sort of an example of how uh, this these types, uh, games with this style of graphics tend to be a lot less detailed. And okay, now now I can go back and... Oh, that, that is some fruit. I really need that. And I'm actually, I'm actually really surprised that the fruit doesn't respawn when you... Just like ever. There's like no renewable source of healing that I've found so far in this game, which is kind of... kind of scary. So, like I said, the challenge could be forthcoming at some point in the future. And, you know, I'm, I'm a bit excited to see that. We've got more cheese. Huh. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I have some cheese already. I don't know if we just need to find a bunch of cheese for someone we haven't met yet. Anyways, so, uh... Oh, can I get back to... Oh, man, I gotta backtrack, like, a lot to get back to where I was. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go back here. And I'm gonna see if I can get back in that mansion. And if I can't, then I'm just gonna try out my charity wings and uh, see if I can get back to where I was before. Because, yeah, I actually wanted to explore that area with the monster. Yeah, there's like no fruit anywhere. I guess, I, I guess I need to be more mindful of that in the future. Like, I've been just collecting fruit every time I see it. Just because, you know, it gives you AP, even so even if I'm at full health, it's like, who cares? Okay, looks looks like I can't get back in the mansion, which is a bit of a shame. So we will use our charity wings and, yeah, give that a shot. And, uh, okay, where do we want to go? Oh, wait, Mushroom Forest, that's exactly where I wanted to go. Okay, charity wings, doing, doing God's work. Got a bit of... Bit disappointing, actually, that you don't actually get to see like Tomba sprout a pair of wings. It's just kind of his regular jumping animation. I mean, not to knock it. It's a, it's a good animation, actually. I really like the way that he's just kind of like, you know, it's like he's gonna like try to jump on at someone and bite him. And okay, actually, yeah, we can find some fruits in here. Okay, so it looks like I'm eating mushrooms that are sort of changing the mood of the entire forest. It looks like. So yeah, if this is a laugh, I, sh I haven't been paying attention to the colors. So is that a? So I've got a laughing mushroom. Okay, maybe I was wrong then. Or right, that guy up there is having a jolly old time, at least. So I, I don't know. Some of these guys. This this is a. Oh god, this is a creepy place. Whoa. Yeah, I just. Oh god, this place is freaking me out. I kind of regret coming back here. So. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with these mushrooms. I thought I would like collect one and bring it back to that dude. Or I guess maybe I can, maybe I can dislodge one with my. Huh. So um, apparently my attack button. 
Like my weapon button has turned into a laugh button. So apparently this is actually a status ailment that, uh, as far as I can tell... Yeah, that's what I thought. It looks like... So yeah, like I eat a mushroom and then... The platforms, like, lower or raise. It, like, changes the mood of the flower. And then... Oh, that, that's actually a pointy thing. Oh, okay, so I guess if he's... Okay, that was close. I almost fell into the pit there. Whoa! God, these mushrooms are kicking my ass. It's just this whole... Oh, God, this place is so freaky! Like, oh, there's... There's, like, flowers, and they're, like, laughing and alternately crying, and it's like I'm eating mushrooms that are fucking up my attack. It's... And, oh, it's, it's, it's that... The noises, especially. It's like, ugh. This place is actually kind of anno starting to annoy me at this point, to be honest, with that, uh... The constant laughing and crying sound effects all over the place. So let's... God damn it. Okay, let's let's try not to collect these mushrooms anymore. And... Oh, shit! Um, okay. So, okay, I got a, I got the cure mushroom. So I guess, um... So yeah, as far as I can tell, then, uh, this, uh... Whole laughing and crying business seems to be... Yeah, some kind of status, status ailment. Because, yeah, I can't attack... I can't use my weapon anymore. Instead of using my weapon, I just sort of run forward, crying like a little girl. Um, so... Anyways, yeah, I was thinking that I could, like, pick up... Oops, no, no! Okay, okay, maybe there's, like, a bit of a puzzle going on here at these guys. It seems like the platforms are, like, raising and lowering based on my mood. Like, like, like so. Although, I guess, yeah, I can't open these chests anyways. Or, oh, okay, so I can control my laugh. So, and yeah, or I can... Ah, dang it. It's okay, let's laugh. Damn it, no, laugh, damn it. Laugh, damn you, laugh! Okay. Nope, that is the sad mushroom. It doesn't look like the colors are correlated at all to the effects. It's like, ah, dang it. It's like, yeah, sometimes the orange mushrooms are laughing. Or maybe they're always laughing, I don't know. There's like there's like four different colors of mushrooms here. It's like I can't I can't keep track of four different colors. Like what is this nonsense? Anyway, so okay, if I can't pick up the mushrooms, then I can probably at least show this guy my awesome or what Okay, yeah, I can show this guy my awesome laughing face. And it is kind of awesome. Like it's inconvenient to have my attack dis disabled like this. But at least I've got this awesome laugh that I can spam. And I'm just gonna keep doing this. And now... Okay. Oh, he's still not gonna let me pass. Let me guess. You wanna learn how to cry? Yeah, you wanna learn how to be sad. I'll, I'll give you something to cry about. That being Tomba's sad face, apparently. Will be something to cry about. Oh, the stupid mushroom. That's not even a mushroom. It's a flower. These are the mushrooms. It's like mushroom, flower. Can you tell the difference? I certainly can't, apparently. Um, I should actually probably save here. And actually, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, that'll probably be just, just about it for, uh, this segment, uh, coming up in a little bit. So, yeah, I've done a fair bit, Cle cleared a bunch of, uh, events for a bunch of different NPCs, probably done just about everything that needs to be done in the dwarf village at this point, for all I can tell. And, uh, yeah. And now to uh, the Windy Mountain, or whatever it was called, Storming Mountain, some kind of mountain we're going to be on here, if I remember correctly. Assuming this guy is even going to let me pass at this point. The world's great. I didn't even notice that was, that was a great name for a quest. <laughs> the world's greatest pouch. And yeah, because we are the... By, we, so yeah, we've opened up a route to the mountains by being the world's greatest pouter. That's such a... Uh, that's like... I cannot remember the last time I've had cause to use that word. Anyways. Okay, we've got Stormy Pig Bag. Is that the bag that we have? Okay. So, okay, assuming we've got an evil pig coming up here pretty soon. Okay, this mountain has been under an evil spell. Oh, so maybe this is a different pig, because there was an evil spell on the forest, and now there's, an, like, another evil spell... On the mountain? Yeah, look for evil pig bags. Oh, this this is Phoenix Mountain, apparently, because I just cleared the to Phoenix Mountain quest. So, uh, yeah, we did it. We made it to Phoenix Mountain. That was our 
sort of story quest that we were working on at the moment. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm glad that the Elder is repeating all this, because uh, I'll probably forget it and need to hear it again at some point. And... Okay, these are just uh, NPCs. I was afraid I was going to get killed by some cowboy enemies rushing at me. Okay. Oh, just had to go to the jungle. So, okay, so we got a little bit of intrigue here to sort of set up the next episode. It's like, what, what are these guys talking about? Where are they from? What are they doing here? Why are they wearing cowboy hats with eyes on the top? Or are those just their heads? I can't even really tell what's going on with these sprites, and I just accidentally skipped over that text without reading it. Oh, well. Master of the Skies. That's what we've got going on next. And so, yeah, I hope you'll uh, join me in the next episode where we seek out the Master of the Skies on Phoenix Mountain. Uh, yeah, that, uh, th that'll be happening for sure. Uh, don't miss it. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.